Hello everyone, I am children's book illustrator Stephen Lenton and welcome to the first Draw Along a Lenton. Now, this is the first in a series of Draw Along videos that I'm going to have on my new Draw Along a Lenton YouTube channel. That's quite tricky to say. And those of you that voted on Twitter will know who we are going to draw today. We are drawing a character from <gasps> the Nothing to See Here Hotel. We're going to be drawing this little guy here, Hoggett. You might see him in the background as well. Oh, this is why I'm not a weatherman, because my left and right aren't very good. Hoggett is over here, and also I have a little soft toy Hoggett here, complete with tail and wingy wing wings. We're going to draw this guy. So, we're going to do it step by step. All my draw along lentons are going to be really fun, really simple and easy, using very basic shapes, but you will end up with a beautiful drawing that will actually look like the character that you intended to draw. Hopefully, let's see how we go. Hey guys, so okay. this is how we're going to draw Hoggett. Now I'm using a charcoal pencil. Um, you can use any pencil, you can use a felt tip, you could use a sharpie, you could use anything, but I recommend using a charcoal pencil or maybe a 2B pencil. They're usually the best things to use because they give you a nice depth of tone. Okay, now, to start off drawing Hoggett, we're going to do a heart. Now, hopefully you've drawn a heart before. It goes something like this. A heart, so there's half a heart. Careful how you say that. You don't want to get told off by your teacher. Half a heart. <clears throat> okay, when you've drawn your heart, we're now gonna draw Hoggett's eyes. Hoggett's eyes are either side of the heart. He's got quite big eyes. No, they don't have to be exactly the same shape. They're not too bad. There we go, two circles. Now, in my videos, we're going to be drawing a lot of simple shapes, and we're going to draw more circles in the centre of his eyes. These are going to be his pupils. If you're watching at school, there will be a lot of pupils in the room, and now I've just added two more pupils for you. There you go. Okay. Now, we also need to put some shapes inside his nostrils as well. They're sort of overly shapes and colour those in also. There you go. Now, I like to give Hoggett a little lower lid because it gives him a sort of cheeky, unusual kind of look. And also a couple of little lines underneath his eyes. OK, all good. Now we're going to do his mouth. So his mouth is a U shape that goes underneath his snouts like that. Then we're going to do his teeth. He's got two more little curves, one there, one there underneath his nose, and then two more. We're going to have one at the bottom of his mouth and another at the bottom of his mouth like that. Then we're going to draw his tongue, okay? His tongue's quite easy. It's a bit like the heart. It's a little bumpy shape like that. And then we're going to colour this in colour in the inside of his mouth. And there we've got Hoggett with his little funny expression. Now we're going to draw his head, okay? A bit trickier because you've got to be quite bold with your line coming round to make his head shape. But come round and come round. They don't have to be even on both sides because mine isn't, so don't worry about that. Okay, now we're going to do his eyebrows. Eyebrows are really important when you're drawing your characters. If your character is happy, then we want to have your eyebrows nice and high like this. If you were doing a baddie or a mean character or a frowny character, they would be pointing down the way like that. Okay, now we're going to draw. He's got two little triangular shaped horns on top of his head. One there like that. One there like that. And we just need to join those up with a curvy line like that and join any bits up that you need to. Okay, now we're going to do his ears. His ears are quite easy. They're sort of triangular. They're sort of a curvy triangle. They come down and round like that. And then put an extra bit of detail on so it looks more like an ear, like a floppy bit of cheese or something. And do the same on this side. Two lines and then join those up and do another line inside. And there is Hoggett's face already. We're getting there. Okay, now we're going to draw his tummy. 
okay he's got a big tummy that comes round it's a bit smaller than his head his head's sort of bigger than the rest of his body and that's a good idea to make a character look cute if you're drawing a baby or a younger character then often their head is quite large in comparison to their body now we're going to draw his arms really easy a line coming out on a line coming out and then here's a really top tip for drawing a dragon's claw and paw okay draw a circle at the end of your arm shape then we just need to draw more triangles four more triangles one two three and four so we've got like a little thumb claw and then four that go around his paw shape Quite simple. Let's do the same this side. So we do our arm, one line, two lines, then our circle shape to make our palm, and then four triangles, one, two, three, and four. There we go, he's got cute little paws. That wasn't too bad, was it? Now, he's got little wings. We won't see all of them because we've put the hands and arms in sort of in the way, but we can still get them in. So we're going to draw another line up in between the side of his face and his arm. Then a curve that comes down like that. And then some more arc shapes. One, two and a bit. I can fit one, one two and a bit there. And then same this side. Line up and then down. And then arky shape one, arky shape two, arky shape and a bit. Okay, we'll put some more detail on those in a minute. Let's carry on and we'll finish with his feet. We're going to have his feet sitting um, sitting down. So he's got his leg coming out and then shape like this. He's got like little frog's feet that comes down and around like that. Quite simple again. Hope you're getting on okay out there. Looking forward to seeing what you end up drawing, what your drawings look like. And then line up, zigzag, 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 zigzag to make your frog leg and then round to his bum. There we go. There he's sitting down. Now we're going to draw some extra details now. He's got some lines on his tummy, some extra texture, some dragony texture there make the bottom one a bit more curvy. Now, because Hoggett lives in a fireplace, when I designed him, I thought it'd be quite cool to give him some sort of cracks on his skin. It looks a little bit like lightning, but it makes him look sort of like he's almost made out of embers and he really belongs in that fire. He doesn't get hurt by the fire, of course, because he's a magical creature, he's a magical dragon, so don't worry about him. He's fine. Now, extra details, he's got lots of circles and spots on him as well. So let's draw some of those all around his face, maybe some on his chin. Let's add another little bit of line to make a lower lip there and carry on doing some circles. We can have them on his legs and around his tummy, and even on his hands, and maybe on his wings. We need to add a bit more detail on the wings as well. We need to draw another line up like that a line that comes down and a line that comes down to that pointy curve and there it just makes it look much more like a wing let's do the same this side a line up a line down a line down to the point a bit and down to the point a bit now i nearly forgot something then boys and girls we are going to draw his tail every dragon needs a tail not just the tail that he's in the nothing to see here hotel tail the story but his tail tail now it would be behind him but because he's sitting down and facing towards us we're going to draw his tail coming out the side like this do a curvy line and then do another curvy line a bit fatter at the bottom his tail and then goes thinner towards the top a bit tricky but i know you can do it you'll be good you'll be good now it's sort of another heart shape at the end of his tail but it goes like this the heart is the top there and goes to a point to make the point of his tail and then do the same this side and join that up and also he does have spines all the way down him but we'll only see them on his tail so spines are quite easy they're not sharp spines because he's a goody and a cute character 
try to make him not too sharp and sort of round everything off and make him look nice and chunky and cute because he's one of the cutest characters in the Nothing to See Here Hotel. Much to Stephen Butler's annoyance because Stephen Butler does not like cute characters but he allowed me to make Hoggett cute. Now when you finished your drawing, sign your name and then hopefully what I would like you to do is make some comments underneath um, this video on my channel and um, also follow me on Twitter, Stephen Lenton, and um, I'd love to see some of your posted pictures and I hope you enjoyed drawing Hoggett. Next month on Draw Along a Lenton we are going to be drawing a robot. Not just any old robot but we're going to be drawing Frank Cottrell Boyce's runaway robot called Eric. There he is. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you how to draw a really cool robot and that will be coming up in December. So look out for that.